What's going on YouTube? So looking at the profile of this Cadillac CT5, you'd think we're in a normal Caddy sedan. However, one rev <laughs> certainly shows you we are not in an ordinary sedan. This is the Cadillac CT5V Blackwing. And we've been living with this beast for the past week. So get ready for a fun review. So what better place to start off this review than under the hood? Obviously with the Blackwing, we have twice as many cylinders as the <laughs> standard CT5 model because we have a V8, nice American muscle, 6.2 liter, supercharged V8. It's making 668 horsepower and 659 pound-feet of torque. Absolutely awesome. It's also handcrafted, so thank you so much. Sterling, I think is how you say his name. As far as the transmission is concerned, a six-speed manual is standard equipment. You have the option of getting an automatic, and as far as the drivetrain, it's rear drive exclusively for the CT5V Blackwing. You do come in at 15 miles a gallon combined as your overall fuel economy, which qualifies you for the lovely gas guzzler tax. <laughs> but that, of course, is not going to be your concern when you see the performance of this out on the road, which obviously we are going to do later on in an in-depth test drive. So stick around for that. But first, let's close up the hood because there's some interesting elements we want to talk about for the 2024 model. So taking a look at the exterior design, one of the cool things I think about the V Blackwing is that really it still looks a lot like an executive sedan, but you can make it really, really quite bold if you want to. We apparently did want to because we've equipped it with one of the four new colors this year, celebrating the 20th anniversary of V Series. This is called Cyber Yellow, and it is a very attention-grabbing color. We have gotten a lot of looks in this. Between this and the exhaust, everybody's going to be watching you. Now, in terms of our grill, of course, you've got that signature Cadillac look. It's all going to be blacked out in the top and the bottom. Big aggressive openings to get plenty of airflow into that supercharged V8 model. You can also get some carbon fiber bits if you want as well. And you also do have that 20th anniversary badge for 2024 up there in the grill. In terms of our headlights, full LED headlights, of course. These are reflector LEDs. And then you have that signature Cadillac waterfalling, daytime running light, and turn signal indicator. Now, as we move around to the rear design, we've got a really nice look here. It definitely looks aggressive. Plus, there's something new to talk about it's back here. Yeah, what's that new feature? Well, for 2024, we now have V Blackwing branding. So on the previous model years of the Blackwing, it just said V. So I'm definitely happy that Cadillac is giving you at least a little bit of a special badge. So people, even if they can't hear the engine, can see that you have the Blackwing. Now Drew's going to go ahead and hop inside. And we're going to check out the taillight elements to see if all of the elements are LED. We do that in all of our reviews, even this review here. So we have an LED brake light portion, LED turn signal, and then our reverse light is LED down here at the bottom. So all three elements, LED, certainly like that. I do want to point out you get clear taillight lenses if you choose a V-series model. Now as we drop down here to the lower area, absolutely an amazing looking diffuser. We're also going to have quad exhaust outlets pumping out some of the best exhaust noises I have ever heard. So let's go ahead and take a listen. Pretty darn impressive if you ask me. This is going to be one of the best sounding engines I have ever heard. Now taking a look at our wheels. On the V Black Wing, we have a 19 inch alloy wheel. This is an optional finish on this one. So as you can see, kind of a dark gray look. I really, really like the way this looks. Obviously you are going to have performance tires as well, although we have replaced them with winter tread this week considering it is snowing. Now. This right here is something I want to point out. As you can see, you're going to have performance brakes, 
Uh, Brembo brakes are what's going to be included as standard on the V Black Wing, or you can pay $9,000 to get cross drilled carbon ceramic brakes. And obviously, you can choose between some different colors for those calipers. Now, as we move above here, we've got our V branding again with the new Black Wing edition for 2024. And in terms of our mirrors, they're equipped as you'd expect for a luxury sedan. So you've got heating, blind spot monitoring, power folding, and auto dimming. Now here at the side, you can of course see the really aggressive side profile. Of course, everything is also going to be very blacked out. Now, as far as overall vehicle length, this coming in at 194.9 inches, which is actually a touch bit longer than your standard uh, Cadillac CT5. Now, I do want to talk about your safety systems because it's going to be an area where we actually see a change for 2024. Now, you will have the vast majority of your safety systems as standard equipment. However, if you choose an automatic CT5V Blackwing, you can now get Super Cruise. So, yeah, you heard me right. Your nearly 700 horsepower sedan, you could do some hands-free highway driving. Really cool feature that's added this year. But guys, let's go ahead and hop inside and check out the really cool bits in there. But first, if you're new here, we're brothers and we've been reviewing cars since we were 12 and 16. We may be young, but we love cars. <laughs> and we'd love for you to subscribe to be a part of our Car Confections family. Let's learn a lot, have some fun with all the latest cars. All right, now let's go ahead and get on the inside. Of course, though, we'll take a quick look at the key fob. As you can see, we do have that kind of typical Cadillac key fob. You would also get remote start if you had the automatic model. And you'll notice we have this color, which matches with our brake caliper. That's pretty cool. Uh, get inside, just grab behind the handle. This is an electronic handle, so you just pinch it, and that will open up the door and fold the mirrors outward. Now, taking a look inside the cabin, we have a very nice looking cabin and really the thing that's going to get your attention right from the start are these seats. These are absolutely beautiful seats. We have the per optional performance seats that are made of carbon fiber. They have a beautiful semi aniline leather. This is a gray and black finish. Look how thick these bolsters are. They hold you in place excellently and you have 18 ways of power adjustment with massage. So you're not giving up the luxury for the performance of these seats. I also want you to come around and look at them from the back because this really gives you a sense of how cool these seats are, where you can see that full carbon fiber uh, shell going on in the back with the V branding. But let's go ahead and climb on inside and take a look at all the details. So as you can see with that really cool animation going across the gauge cluster, you do have special 20th anniversary animations. Now, this, even though it's a very high performance sedan, is still a luxury sedan. So let's get into the overall cabin materials. So starting out on our door trim, you can see we have full leather covering with stitching details. We have a suede insert that's gonna run through the center section, and then we have carbon fiber trim through there. By the way, you do have memory seating located right there. As we move to the upper dash, all of this area is going to be finished in a leatherette material with a stitching detail. More carbon fiber through there, more carbon fiber through the center section, and then we have some padding along the console for your knee to rest against. But let's go ahead and fire it up with a push button start. After you fire it up and listen to that V8 burble for a sec, we can get our attention back to some of the individual features, including our gauge cluster. So first of all, as you can see, full digital gauge cluster, 12.3 inches. It's really reconfigurable though, and obviously it has a lot of performance gauges built in, which is something I really like. If I go over here, I can switch to things like our track view, which is a really, really cool looking gauge cluster. And you don't have to be in track mode to use the track view for these gauges. Now, additionally, you're also going to have a head up display. It's a little on the smaller side, but it's really high quality and again has some useful information. Pulling back, you're going to see rain sensing wipers. You're going to, of course, have a really nice V steering wheel, fully leather wrapped, pretty thick rim, leather covered airbag cover as well. And you have that center marker. 
and carbon fiber down here at the bottom. The wheel itself is going to be power, tilt, and telescoping. We also have heating. And then you've got your dedicated V mode button, which is basically a customizable drive mode. And then you have some drive mode selections right here. Now, this is a sedan after all, so how much storage does it have for those of you who are going to use this on an everyday basis? Well, we have a way to find out. It's called the Car Confections Donut Test, and we see how many fit into the center console. In this case, it's only going to be four. So this is a rather shallow um, console here, but we do have some USB connections inside. Up in front of that, you have a little spot, which might be good for your key fob, perhaps, two cup holders, and then a nice sized wireless phone charging pad in the very front. Now, obviously, right behind that, you're gonna see a glorious six-speed manual transmission. That's very rare for all the vehicles that this competes against to have that as an option. We'll go through this more when we're doing the test drive, but it has a nice feel to it. We also do have downshift rev matching on board. Let's go into reverse, show you the 360-degree camera system. Pretty good resolution on board with this camera. Moving above, we have a nice physical row of climate controls. Obviously, standard dual zone automatic. I like the metal toggles on board. You also have three-stage heated seats and three-stage ventilated seats on all black wing models. And then rising above, we have our physical volume knob. With the black wing, you have a special 16-speaker AKG sound system versus the other models which come with Bose sound systems. Let's go ahead and give that a sample right now. Both Mason and I really like the sound of this sound system, but admittedly we haven't been using it all that much this week because we like to hear the exhaust a little bit more. All right, now let's zero in here at our infotainment system. This is a 10 inch display. Um, this is not the latest version of Cadillac Q. This is kind of an older version right now. However, most of the stuff you know, works perfectly fine. The display itself though can get a little bit washed out in direct light. You do have built-in navigation on board. You also have wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Up top, we have an auto dimming mirror. You have your Homelink Universal remotes. And we don't have a sunroof, but we do have a nice suede headliner running all the way across. Now this rear seat area is really something that I want to showcase about this CT5V Blackwing because although you have a ton of performance, with, which we're just about to check out, you also have room for five. So you can fit three people back here perfectly fine and actually in a lot more of a practical fashion than you might even expect because this is a CT5 after all. So as far as the leg rooms are concerned, we're sitting at about 38 inches of leg room, 36.6 inches of headroom, And I did bring my ruler because here at Car Confections, we wanna get those uh, measures for you. And we're sitting at about eight and a half inches of knee space with the seat adjusted to Drew who is five foot eight and I'm five foot nine. I have tons of room and I'm quite comfortable. Now, as far as other features I wanna talk about, we do have standard vents. Although we're not gonna have a ton of like luxury features or anything like that, we do have a 12 volt outlet and one charging USB port. Do keep in mind you have a quite large center tunnel. However, we do have a center armrest that folds down and the seat themselves here in the back certainly have a really cool look with some V branding. And of course you have all this carbon fiber to take a look at. Now, as far as the door trim is concerned, nice materials throughout. We have more carbon fiber, more Alcantara, more leather, and we do have a little bit of storage down on the very bottom. Now, walking up to the cargo area, this is another area I'm pretty impressed with. We're going to have about 12 cubic feet of maximum capacity. Uh, which is the same as other CT5 models. I do want to point out though, we do not have a fully power uh, trunk. Now, as far as some of those measures that I, I was mentioning earlier, we like to get those for you here at Car Confections. As far as the overall cargo length, we're sitting at 40 inches of length. And as far as the overall width, we're sitting at about 36 inches wide. Just do be aware, it is a pretty shallow trunk. If we lift up the floor, um, we're not gonna find a spare tire or anything. I assume that's for weight savings. However, the seats 
do appear to still fold 60-40 split. Well guys, here we are behind the wheel of the CT5V Blackwing. This is the part of the review that I know you guys have been waiting for. It was the thing I was dying to do once it was parked in our driveway this week. So uh, we can't wait to show you everything that the CT5V has to offer, including we'll even get a sound level reading because this is a luxury sedan after all. But first, we're going to go ahead and start with that hard acceleration. starting out. <laughs> In the 2024 Cadillac CT5V Blackwing. <laughs> this is no regular CT5, that is for sure. And boy, does it have an intoxicating sound. <laughs> All right, so there is a little preview of uh, the sights and sounds with the V Blackwing. Um, obviously, at the spec up, we talked a little bit about, you know, the engine and some of the performance that you can expect with this model. But where it really comes alive is once you actually take it out on a back road like yep. we're doing right now because this just kind of brings the whole thing together. It's more than just about the numbers, even though it does have, of course, awesome numbers with the 6.2 liter supercharged V8, 668 horsepower. <laughs> it is so, so incredibly quick. 659 pound feet of torque. And really, this is just one of those vehicles you're reminded of just how awesome a V8 rear drive sedan can be. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah, this is absolutely a thrill to drive. Now, we're not going to be doing any type of, um, you know, like hardcore zero to 60 test or anything like that. Um, this today is not the ideal conditions for this. We're having some winter weather. There's some, uh, yeah, you know, maybe perhaps a risk of a little bit of ice on the road. So we're going to drive a little bit more gingerly. Obviously, you can find people driving this on the track to its full 10 out of 10 potential in many places on YouTube, so check that out. Um, uh, this video, we really just wanted to kind of take that more everyday living with approach, um, which is something that we have been doing for the last seven days. And as we mentioned, we are on winter tires, so you would think perhaps that you wouldn't be able to, you know, live with something this high performance yeah. on the day to day. but. You might change your mind after we go through some of the experiences we've had over this past week. Now, as far as performance is concerned, you might be curious about the 0 to 60 for the CT5V Blackwing. Like we said, we're not doing that 0 to 60 test due to the cold weather and risk of ice and being on winter tires, but, um, and I believe the tires are still cold. I guess they are. So, um, the 0 to 60 though is rated at 3.6 seconds by car and driver for the manual transmission. Um, so very, very quick 0 to 60 as you would expect. This is nearly 700 horsepower in a small sedan. Now, as I was downshifting, you, of course, noticed that this is the manual transmission. We talked about that a little bit earlier. One of the kind of insane things about this model, because 
No one is doing this, nope. let alone doing it in an executive style luxury sedan. The fact that you have this is absolutely yeah. crazy. Here's the thing though that really excites me. It's not just, oh, we put a six speed manual in this CT6V or C <laughs> CT6V, I'm having a stroke or something. That <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about the Blackwing. Anyways, it's not just that they put it in here. The point is the quality is absolutely fantastic. This is one of the very best manuals I have ever driven. It yeah. feels really, really great. It has a nice crisp, short throws to it. The clutch, nice feel to it. It has a good engagement. And this is just a joy to drive. It's also, I noticed, not even a hard manual to drive at all. Yeah. It's very easy to get used to. I think even if you're not like a super pro that wouldn't think you'd want a manual every single day, you can really daily drive this with ease. Yeah, and that's one of the things I really just want to stress about this vehicle is that this is an iconic type of vehicle. It's a classic American V8 muscle uh, sedan but in a luxury um, package. And I really love that about this car. And really, all of its main competitors are not offering a manual transmission. An M5 does not have manual transmission. It's gonna be all wheel drive as well. So this is a rear drive manual V8. It's that classic experience. So I would recommend going for the manual. Plus you're also gonna save a little bit of money as well. The automatic cost, I believe three or $4,000 more expensive. country back road and I think this is a great time to talk about the driving dynamics and especially you know the overall handling it really is quite exceptional in this model now for those of you in the know you know that this is a variety of the alpha chassis this is something that underpins you know some really good performance models like the Camaro and this just has great bones and you can tell from the very moment you get behind the wheel. When you go around corners, it has superb body control. Everything feels tight, buttoned down, the steering nicely weighted, very fast responding of course. And overall, it just feels really fantastic when you throw it around a corner. The really cool thing about this model specifically is having the fourth generation of magnetic ride control. With that system, that allows us to really not have to choose between comfort yeah. and performance. We right. have full adaptability. So even when we're going down a rough road, I mean, check out this. You can go over bumps and it just doesn't upset the model. It doesn't disturb you and you're yeah. sitting in this uh, you know luxury cabin, this nice bucket seat. That's something that I think is really, really awesome to have on board and helps with that everyday livability like I was talking about. Yeah, and right now we are in that sport suspension setting, but it does get even more comfortable uh, than this. And I will even say that these seats, they're $8,000 seats, but they hug you in incredibly, incredibly well. Some of the best seats for hugging you in I've ever uh, sat in, and they of course have a ton of customizability. They're even going to be massaging, so another rare thing to really have in a performance vehicle is like the luxury element of having a massaging seat. Certainly a lot of appreciation here uh, for us living with it the last seven days that you have that dual character between insane levels of performance and also quite a lot of luxury as well. that sound <laughs> no it just does not get old and when you have it the uh, exhaust in the highest setting with the v mode the burbles and all the theatrics are just so much fun <laughs> yeah we experienced this first in the escalade v for having that a week uh, about a year ago and 
the noise is just insane. It's like the level of noise where you're probably going to wake up everyone in the neighborhood, but they probably want to hear it so they won't be too mad because it sounds so, so good. When it says top setting, or if you yeah. put it down in its lowest setting, it's surprisingly subdued. And speaking of that lowest setting, we're now in the tour mode, which of course, as you can see, we've customized to make sure that uh, the steering is most luxurious setting and also that the engine is in its quietest setting. And, you know, we can go ahead and test out how quiet that is by getting our sound level reading. That's something we do in all of our car confections reviews. And here with the CT5V Blackwing, I kind of want to show this off because I think we're going to have a rather impressive sound level. So we'll get into six gear here for our highway cruise and get the sound level reading. Fifty eight point four decibels is what we are sitting at. Wow. <laughs> That is a very good sound level reading. I don't have to sit here and guess, though, because I can go to carconfections.com slash sound level readings. And on our website, we posted all the cars that we've ever reviewed on the channel. So you can actually check that out yourself if you're curious about any other vehicles sound level reading. But that is pretty darn impressive out of something with this level of noise. It's one of the loudest vehicles that you can buy stock and to have that level of just quietness in the touring mode and in six gear is pretty darn impressive yes absolutely the dual character of these driving modes is just insane you saw it just go over that bridge i know that's really rough in a lot of cars and it just handles it so well when you go into touring they've really just done a great job of making a totally like split character so you can have the best of a luxury sedan and the best of a performance sedan and that honestly is today's slam dunk because like we've been discussing, living with this is easy. And yeah. that's the reason why is because it can match whatever circumstance you need it to match. We absolutely love that about it. Yeah. As far as our air ball is concerned, it's just gonna be that some of the technology in here is a little bit of older Cadillac. So we certainly would like for them to update the infotainment screen to have some of the newest stuff like what we've seen in the X-T4. And as far as a few other practical elements I wanna talk about, of course, this CT5V Blackwing is rear drive exclusively. Um, and as far as fuel economy, the manual model is coming in at 15 miles a gallon combined. Automatic goes up to 16 miles a gallon combined. Um, but that does qualify you, as I mentioned at the spec dump, for the lovely gas guzzler tax. Um, so that's about $2,100. So do be aware that you will have to pay that tax on all of the Blackwing models. Um, so that's going to, you know, of course, bite you when it comes to at the pump and also when it comes to the gas guzzler tax. Sure, of course. Let's see if we can find uh, fuel economy that we've been yeah, getting. Yeah, when we were... I'm sure it's not good if I can't find oh, here it. Here we go. 10 miles a gallon. That sounds about right. I would say... On the dot. I would say expect 10 miles a gallon uh, or less. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you're going to drive yeah. this... The, if you bought it, you're going to drive it the way it deserves to be driven. And 10 miles a gallon is what you're going to get. And lastly, as far as the warranty is concerned, you have a four-year, 50,000-mile basic warranty, a six-year, 70,000-mile powertrain warranty. Cadillac does also give you a one complimentary service visit. And let's talk pricing. Now, you probably expect all of this to be very expensive, and indeed, for the CT5V Blackwing, it is going to carry the highest price tag of the CT5 lineup, but honestly, it's not quite as bad as you might think. So we're going to start at $93,495 for the Blackwing model if you choose the manual transmission. If you choose the automatic, it's going to be quite a bit more expensive, I think three or $4,000 for the automatic. And then, uh, of course, if you check off the carbon ceramic brakes, the $8,000 seats, um, you have to pay the gas guzzler tax, as well as a few other goodies. We're sitting at about $117,000 as tested today for this pretty much fully loaded out CT5V Blackwing. 
And if you're looking to buy a CT5 or any new vehicle, we would recommend you go to carconfections.com slash new car quotes. Now, why you do that is because we have a tool on our website that will connect you with local dealers in your area to get you the best price on your new vehicle. It's also going to give you access to invoice pricing information, which is a great tool for dealer negotiation. If you'd like to take advantage of that, a link is provided in our video description. And guys, that's going to be it for our in-depth seven-day review of the 2024 Cadillac CT5V Blackwing. We certainly enjoyed driving this vehicle around for the last seven days, and we would really appreciate if you enjoyed watching this video, hitting that subscribe button down below, because by subscribing, you help give us opportunities like this where Cadillac will send this vehicle down for us to test out for an extensive seven days and show you guys on the channel. So by subscribing, you play a very important role in that. I also would like to thank our current fans and subscribers. Thank you so much for your continued support, and thank you for being a part of our family. We'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies.